Tonight, between 8pm and 10, Talks Will Kick Off will be taking a deep dive into the state of British coaching. I'm, of course, obviously very excited and honoured to be here today as a new head coach of England. I thought I would never see it. Germany have always had a homegrown head coach of their national team. The England manager should be should be English, I have, to, I have to say that. We're seeing people being given opportunities, they're not taking them. There is no pathway, there is no opportunity. They give up and they walk away from the job. You could see that there was going to be an issue because we were so, so keen to bring foreign coaches and foreign players in and less and less coaches were going to get that opportunity. Yeah, just a quick mention to Gary, who's cleaning windows in the world. Said it's a bit cold. Get yourself wrapped up, Gary. Oh, Gary's enjoying the show. Thanks for your message, mate. Now, from 8pm, Hugh Wilson Crawford, former England defender Danny Mills, will discuss the lack of English coaches and managers at the top level of the game, what the issues are and how they can be fixed. Their guests include former under-21 manager Eddie Boothroyd and ex-Premier League manager, now a coach, Fabrice Mwamba. There are six British managers in the Premier League right now, Andy, mm-hmm. five of which manage the current bottom six. Right. Is that a stat that just one of these things can throw up or is it a problem other enough English stroke British coaches? Look, I, I've always held the opinion that that, that football clubs, because it's such a tough business, if there's if there are good people out there to go and hire, if there are better English coaches out there than foreign coaches out there to hire, they would go and do that. They would get the best people in Correct. for the job. I've always thought that you know, surely that would be the correct Makes way sense. to go about it rather than worrying about other things and other issues where people are from or or whatever. I've always thought football has a responsibility to its supporters and the nature of the business because it's so competitive. You get the best people out there to, to hire. Of course now, you do. Manchester United will have looked across the globe for a coach, of course, wouldn't they? Yeah. They've come up with, with, a, with a guy that's currently excelling from Portugal. And, uh, and look, Fair play, They've, they, 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 we're about to find out exactly how good well, Ruben Amarim is. Do Portuguese coaches, and they have been for some time, do they deserve to be, do they want to be the kind of flavour of the month? I do think, I do think there's something in, because I've spoke to people in in who have worked at Premier League clubs and that are present when their interviews being 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 held. And I tell you what, I think that's a skill, Ali. Yeah. I think that's a skill. Look, you've got to have a CV. You've got to have you've got to have a good CV to, in order to even get through the door to have an interview. But I also believe there are some that have been very smart at the way that clearly they are able to continue to get some of the very best jobs um, and don't always particularly hack it or really do yeah. that, that uh, particularly that well. Are there enough British coaches? It would be lovely to see more. Of course, it would. But right now, football is 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 seeing. Other opportunities from other people, and they're given, they're being given that, and so I'm afraid and until better change. people, better people the, the bo- come along, mate. Yeah, the bottom line the is the best be. man or the best woman for the job. It's got to no, be, isn't it? Matter, absolutely. Today marks 50 days until Liverpool's contract rebels Salah, Van Dijk, and Alexander Arnold are able to sign pre-contracts with foreign clubs. And on the show last week, Liverpool legend Phil Thompson said that if any of the three walk, it'll be their loss. I think all, all us sort of Liverpool fans at the moment are just taking a back seat. What will be, will be. Um, if the three of them don't sign a contract, our club always goes on. There'll be yep. a, a Torres, there'll be a Suarez, there'll be somebody else who will come along. It is their loss if they don't sign a contract. If you ask me at this moment, probably Virgil will be the one which may be signing. That's my own gut feeling. The way yeah. you're looking at this is this is panning out. But as I say, what will be will be. If Trent decides to sign, I'll be delighted. If Mo decides to sign, great. If they don't want to be, it will be their loss. Because this is Liverpool Football Club. You don't play your football in many great arenas like Anfield. And it, they will miss it. OK, joining us mm. more this is top journalist and former Merseyside correspondent for the Mail, Dominic King. Dominic, a very good morning. How are you, mate? Morning, Dom. I'm very well. Good morning, gents. Lovely to see, speak to you again. Oh, it's great well. to speak to you, mate. I've, uh, we've, we've missed your dulcet tones, but great to have you on. Appreciate you coming on, mate. Now, first question, Tom makes a point, and Liverpool's start of the season under Arna Slot, I think, has been, at, well, we all think, has been fantastic, mate. But is this a problem? I, and I've been saying it for a little bit away, and I've probably, to the extent, I've been annoying Liverpool fans. But this is a problem that needs faced up. And how big can you see it? A, the uncertainty 
and if they don't sign Dom? Yeah, it, it is a problem. And you've got to have sympathy for Arnaslop because he's dealing with a problem that wasn't his of his own making. He, he's walked in and inherited this. This is for some reason... Uh, when it was when they were two years out from the contracts being renewed, they weren't done, and that's why they're in the situation which they are now. Um, it's going to become more of a talking point the closer they get to yeah. uh, to, to the end of the season and things remain unresolved. Um, but listening to, to listen to what Phil said, then he's absolutely spot on. Things you know, it would be. It would be their loss if they ended up leaving what is what what they have at the minute because they will never have it as good as they've got it now in terms of the adulation they get from the fans, in terms of the team that they're playing in, in terms of um what what the, the backstory that they've built up. Mm. Um I think it would be there's still a lot, an awful lot of mileage to go in it. But um I it, can I just would like to make a point about the club. I mean there's, there's, there is an argument at the minute that people are saying just give them what they want, um, particularly with, with with Salah after what what he did the other night and you know ten goals and ten assists, the first player yeah. in Europe to to get to that. But the club of ne- Liverpool have never done that in ter- under FSG. They've they've always been very clever financially and never pushed the barriers to where they'd make themselves vulnerable. And just because the players are playing well at the minute, nothing's going to change. No, and um, that has to be respected. I think. Sure, Dom. Can I ask you, out the three, who do you think is the more likely to stay? Uh, <clears throat> I would go. I would go with Van Dijk, um, simply because of, of of what he made. I I think he's the building block for everything. He's playing. He's. I've been watching him this season, and it, it's like he's playing two levels above everybody else. It's like he's playing a PlayStation game compared to what mm-hmm. everybody else is doing. He sees. He's seeing things miles before strikers. He's just in and he's just in the zone at the minute. He's in absolutely incredible form. Um Do you think th- do you I, think I, the club, Dom, sorry, just to, in response to that, then do you think the club should go the extra yard, perhaps outside of what they normally would? I heard you say what you're saying about the finances, yeah. but do you think they should push it particularly for him? Um I don't think you can. This might sound like unfortunate, Andy, but it's it, it, it you don't think you can prior to prioritize right. one over the other. Okay. Um, I, listen, my gut feeling at the moment is, and I'm not saying this with any sort of background information or briefings or anything like that. Let me make that absolutely clear. My gut feeling is, if there's three contracts to be done, I think two two will, and one will go. Right. I just I just, I just think with the with the money that's involved and whatever. Um, I don't know which one it'll be. I don't know who, but that, that, that is just my, my gut feeling mm. on it. Just a quick one, Dom, and I take your point, and I take Tomo's point, saying it's a player's loss if they leave, and I, and I get it. However, if Trent, for example, goes to Real Madrid, mm. there's an argument Real Madrid are certainly as big as Liverpool, and it's not a move back the way, but that, that's obviously yeah. a, a matter of opinion. But I take, I'm running out of time, but Dom, and I want to get your opinion, if I may, on the David Cooch story. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you know what, Ali? I'm not going to rant and rave about David Coote uh, for what he said. It, what, what I, um, he said that in private. I would say you need to consider this sort of situation with him at the minute. He's been unbelievably let down by someone. Correct. Someone's tried. Someone's tried to. Correct, someone's mate. tried to do him some um, some incredible damage, and they've succeeded. I actually, I, I actually have. Um, I, I imagine people will go berserk about me saying this. Why I, I have a great deal of sympathy for for the situation that he's yeah. been put in. Should he have said it? No, absolutely not. Should he have Should he have gone on a video and made those comments? Absolutely not. And that's his mistake. But he's been he's been absolutely let down by someone. Talk sport breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from six a.m. on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.